ericmother2mother.com. Let's take a look at the mantra or the saying on Wall Street that says our job as investors is to figure out a way to buy low, sell high, buy low, sell high, buy low, sell high, buy low, sell high. Now, this seems very simple until you start putting it in practice. As we all know, it gets a little bit complicated. Now, one thing I can say about this is be careful when trying to find stocks from a technical standpoint, stocks that are trading below 30.9 on their RSI. Now, this is a monthly chart, so I'm going to use the monthly chart. And the trick is stocks that are trading below 30.9 tend to be very bearish. They have a lot of weakness. And until they move above this number, they are always going to have the threat of recording lower prices. So even though you are looking to buy low and sell high, in theory, you want to avoid extreme bearish situations. As an example of this, take a look at what happened here when we broke down and that break took the stock below the 30.9 level 30.9 so this is this move here and that took the stock let's say from the mid teens let's say about 15 all the way to the current lows in the let's call it six dollar range and so observing and understanding this principle of the RSI being below 30.9. In other words, when a stock is trading below 30.9, consider that a trap zone. And prices, what am I trying to do? Trap. Prices are pretty much going to be in a trap and they tend to drift lower. It's only until the stock recovers back above the 30.9 level that you get any chance of movement to the upside. For example, here it would need the stock to move the RSI back above 30.9 for there to be any chance of a recovery. And you can see a good example of this here where we drop below 30.9. We stay below that in terms of price until we move back above the 30.9 level, which is here. And we get a little bit of a movement higher. Now, even with that buy situation, you can see that ultimately what the stock was doing here, if I was to mention that, is the stock's been struggling. There's a line connecting topside resistance on the monthly chart. And it's been finding resistance ever since this line was established. As you can see, resistance here with this double top gave us the highs there. Resistance recently here gave us the highs there at, a, at about the 20 price range. So, even though you are looking to buy low, sell high, understand that there are situations where a stock is very bearish. And that situation is pretty much when a stock is trading below 30.9 on its RSI. Now, in the description of the video, there's going to be links that go and explain why I get this number. This number happens to be the exact opposite of another important number for bullish scenarios called the 69.1 threshold, which were discovered by yours truly. Eric Mother, mother As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S. Mwah.